God, this is just... Hello there, I didn't see you. How are you? This is just not stupid. What's up everybody, welcome back to the channel, welcome back to the next video. Uh, I hope you all are doing well. Um, I myself am having a bit of a cold. You can still hear me being quite nauseous. But uh, nevertheless, I wanted to make this video. In my last video and also on my Instagram account, I offered uh, one of my raw shots for free to edit for everyone who wants to try. So it's been a couple of weeks, but I do want to make this video because I didn't expect much of a response. Like I thought like maybe one or two might want to try to edit uh, one of my shots. So you can imagine I was pretty overwhelmed by how many of you really wanted to give this a shot and wanted to try to edit one of my shots. So originally I wanted to make just an Instagram post and showcase like the top three edits but I got so many of you wanting to edit my photos um, I figured I'd just make uh, a video. So without any further ado let's get to it. This is my original shot, this is my raw file I provided to everyone who wanted to get a chance. You see it's quite purplish uh, and on the left side it's a bit overexposed but I think that's the that was part of the challenge if you will. It's easy to say now it, it's part of the challenge because of my lack of skill <laughs> to take good pictures. And before we get into any of the other edits I want to show you my edit. This is my edit. You can see I tried to make it more bluish and a bit more contrasty. I also tried to get rid of the ceiling, filled out the mic stand on the right hand side because it's, it, I think it was just too distracting. But this is just my style and edited to my taste. Okay, so starting with the first photo, I'm gonna show you the photo and I'm gonna link the Instagram tag down below. Please forgive me, I won't even try to pronounce it because it's just some, it will turn out pretty gibberish and I, I'm not, no, I've just, no, no, I don't, I just don't do it. All right, first one. Okay, so this first edit is also quite bluish. I do like, I think it has a bit more sharpness in the face than it used to have. I think the, the ceiling is still too distracting and, and also the mic stand, like I said, I, I cut it out. I think it's too distracting, but apart from that, I, I really like the shot. Contrasts are there, maybe his right arm with the tattoo is a bit too washed out. Maybe even I could have done this, maybe even I could have um, added more contrast to the, to the tattoo, to the arm. So far so good, I really like this edit, nice tone selection. And I also like how his skin tones are relatively natural like as far as you can go with such a raw file like it was very pink okay moving on to the next one so this one also comes from someone i follow for quite a long time and his shots are usually completely different he he usually does um like moody landscapes so i was pretty excited to see what he makes out of my shot so here we go okay this one is completely different you can see the mic stand got also removed it leans more into the the purple and the pink tones and also the overexposed area on the left is a bit more skimmed a bit bit less i still have a problem with with the ceiling like it's just too much i think a bit more brightness in the in the face and in the upper body area would be awesome to be more led to the main focus or to the to the subject just get more attention on his screen like on his on the microphone or on his face overall it's interesting that you lean more into the colors which were already there which also caused a bit of clipping like on his elbow but apart from that I, I do like it okay so we see a lot of grain and I have to say I'm not a big fan of grain like if I want the classic film look then I go and shoot on film that's just my opinion but adding superficial grain is it's just not something I'm very into. So I'm not quite sure if this type of grain got into the picture because of post-processing or if it was intentional. I do like this 
kind of split toning like the left side is more bluish and the right is more pink reddish I also do like the crop which is a bit more tighter and a bit more pleasant to the eye if I would have cropped like this I think I would have tried to either content aware fill the knee or to I don't know, mask it or vignette it out, so I think the knee is way too distracting. Okay, so this is rather interesting. What you see here is exactly her style. And I really like the style because it's not something you see quite often. Those RGB tones, I, I'm, I'm not quite sure what the proper term is, so help me out in the comments if, if I get anything wrong but but I'm just gonna call it like RGB separation what whatever layering technique whatever you get the point it really helps to pull focus to the subject everything is layered and, and quite unsharp but the focus like the, the face and the hand are quite sharp and not um, layered not separated also ceiling what happened there like it's still there like it's still visible and it's still too much for me but it just looks like I used a fisheye and this was shot with a um, focal length of 24 but as I said I like the style and it's definitely one of her edits and it's really done in the same style as she edits every other photo on her Instagram feed. Okay, so this also is quite into the purple and in the pink area. I do like the contrast, I do like the shadows, like there are some, some nice blacks in there. Again, ceiling too bright for me, uh, mic stand still in there, I think the colors are okay-ish, but for me it's too pink. But nonetheless, pretty good job on nailing the contrast and the exposure and uh, dialing in those shadows and highlights. I really like those. Alright, so what's this? So for me this looks like it is some sort of filter going on. Like you can clearly see there's a lot of texture loss on, the, on his right arm, like on the tattoo side. And it almost feels like there's too much noise reduction, like when you get this plastic look and feel. But I do think it's interesting. I think I would have crafted it differently. I would even go so far and say it's a bit like, a, like in a comic, like comic style, like stylized. And it's something I've never seen before and I think it's quite interesting. But I feel like the filter just fades out to the top and I think I would have cropped differently just to make it more contextual and more close in itself if you if you know what I mean like I think it's a there's a bit of a break in the picture like the upper part of the picture is just too much detail like I would have liked if the upper part of the ceiling would have been exaggerated in the same style as the singer is but that's a nice style. If you know how this effect was achieved, uh, please let me know in the comments down below. I would love to know. Okay, so here's another one which is really not much of an edit, I have to say. It's a bit desaturated. I think it's a bit too black for my taste. Like the blacks are a bit too much. And for my taste, the right arm is a bit too overexposed. So you could. So I would have brought down the highlights on the, on the arm area more. So after looking at a couple of shots, I have the feeling that there's a tendency to lean more into the colors which are already there, which is okay, but just not my taste. And I think, especially in this one, the, the purple and the pink is just too extreme to lean into. That's why I do like this one, because the colors are desaturated more, but I think it's just lacking a bit of detail and clarity and texture. This one is from Lucas. We've met briefly at, at the While She Sleeps concert, and I think this one is my favorite so far. It's quite desaturated, uh, but you still have nice skin color. The mix stand is propped out. The ceiling is darkened and doesn't get so much attention. And I think there's also a bit of vignetting going on. And you just see the experience of Lucas. Like he has done so many shows and so many shots and he just knows what works and what doesn't work. 
So I'm pretty happy and I think this is my favorite so far. Okay, this one's interesting because I think this one is the brightest so far. As I've already said, ceiling, mic stand, but I do like the brightness and the clarity of the subject. I think this one is really the brightest so far. I also do like the desaturation, which gives the whole picture a more natural feel. Yeah, I really, I really do like this. This is a rather interesting crop. It almost looks like he's some sort of maniac. Like, look at those eyes. Um, so I do like the crop. I do like the crop a lot. And I also like that the knee isn't as distracting. But the downside of such a tight crop is obviously the, the loss of quality. So I think the crop works for like social media, Instagram, uh, but I wouldn't use it if I got to print this. Okay, that's also an interesting crop. I think it's more vertical. It's almost like, almost feels like 16 to 9, but uh, uh, vertically. It's pretty much just like the other ones, uh, evenly balanced. Bit, bit too much pink left for me. I think it could use a bit more contrast, bring down those highlights and punch in the shadows a bit more, but apart from that, I think it's pretty good. So this one also is more to the pink purple side. I think we didn't see any purple like this yet, which you can definitely do with the amount of pink you have, uh, just turn it down into purple, which I think kind of suits the picture best. So I think this would be something I considered doing if I had to re-edit my shot, is not to focus on the blues, but to be more on the purple side. Because I really like the color, the shadows are a bit too lifted and a bit too flat. You could dial those in a bit more if you'd like. Like, if that's your style, that's absolutely okay, but my taste would be to have rich, deep black shadows um, just to get a crunchy and contrasty feel. Okay, that's the last one, and to my surprise, it was the only one which was black and white. Every photo edit I received was in color, and I thought I would receive more black and white photos just because the, the raw file is just so bright and so pink. But this was the only one I received in black and white, and I liked this one a lot. Especially for black and white, I would have uh, darkened down the ceiling. I think the mic stand isn't as annoying as in the color versions. I'm not quite sure how I would have handled the, the overexposed area on the left hand side, uh, but you can see a bit of fragmenting and a bit of noise and cluttering over there, which isn't as pretty. It's okay, but I think for a black and white photo, it's, it needs a bit more punch. And that's it, that was all I got, it was way more than I ever expected to get back. I received so many edits of my photo, I was just blown away. And I think the beauty is, it shows there is just not one single edit which is the same. Some may have some similarities at a distance, but if you take a closer look, every edit is unique. And I think if anything this video proves is that every one of us has a unique view of the world and a unique way of expressing themselves. And I think each and every way of expressing is valuable. And I'm so happy and I'm so thankful to have received such a vast amount of uh, shots and edits of my picture. This definitely wasn't the last time I will be doing this. I would love to do this anytime soon and make another video and just share the diversity and the uniqueness of each and every one of us because that's what it's all about like every one of us is different and unique and that's something we should cherish and enjoy and be proud of that's it for me guys i hope you did enjoy this video i really enjoyed looking at the photos if you would like me to edit one of your shots please feel free to um, reach out to me either in the comments uh, or on Instagram. I try to get back to everyone. If you did like this video, please remember like and subscribe. Help me and help this channel grow. I would love to do this more often and more intense. And if you stick around for this journey and 
leave a like or even a subscribe that would mean a lot to me if you have any questions please feel free to ask and i will see you in the next one bye